breaking news right now. High drama in the state capitol this afternoon. As we first reported just minutes ago, the Kansas Senate passed the biggest tax increase ever in state history. A lot of drama went down just a few moments ago. We were watching it there in Topeka, and really at the last minute, there was a vote switch right. that made all this possible. Of course, this comes on the heels of the vote in the House, and so now this last piece of the puzzle we have been waiting for, Sarah Hollenbeck, is in Topeka now with these late developments. Sarah, what do we know? Good evening. Well, yeah, it was 21 to 19, as close as it could possibly get. As you can see right now, the Senate chamber relatively empty, only a few people left. They do have to come back here at about 5.30 or so to try and finalize things up here, but they have reached this vote, and that was really hard to get to. We had a couple senators that ended up changing their votes to get to number 21. Some people are happy, others not happy with what happened with this tax. Plan, but they are glad to finally be done with this long session. Listen in. We have, we have finally waded through the swamp, it looks like, and uh, we're going we're to be able to finish our work and go home. It is going to be hard to address the income tax when you have the attitude that somebody, the governor, wants to say, This is my legacy. I want to make it work even when it's not working. Senator Penny was talking about trying to change what happened here because she wasn't happy with what's in the in the tax plan. Neither were a lot of the Democrats that were here, but they said simply it was very hard to change any opinions when you're such a small minority in the Senate as well as the House. Now, of course, the very next step is for the governor to sign off on all of this. This particular plan did have him also cutting some funds, so we'll have to see what will happen next. But as for the Senate and the House here, very happy. Happy to finally be wrapping up this marathon session. Reporting live in Topeka, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News. And Sarah, we are hearing from the governor, Sam Brownback, issuing this statement about the vote just minutes ago. It reads this I thank the legislature for completing the final actions of this legislative session, passing a pro growth tax policy and a balanced budget.